when I grew up, it was not an acceptable thing to charge anything. You know, I would have saved money for maybe two years till I got enough money to pay cash for an automobile. And, and, and my parents didn't buy things on credit. My children, though, you know, to them, it's just, a, just like breathing. <laughs> <laughs> the president usually meets with people in the Oval Office or the cabinet room. But on this day, the meeting took place in Mrs. Irby Reed's backyard. There's a limit to how much I want government to stick its nose into people's private affairs, including your family. Back in March, we had absolutely uncontrollable inflation and interest rates. They were both approaching 20%. And people like you all over the nation, in a spirit of uh, cooperation and patriotism, just clamped down on credit and charges and the results of our very mild restraints were 10 times more effective than we had ever dreamed. And it really tightened up credit a little too much. This began to put people out of work, so we had to take those uh, credit restraints off. They served their purpose, and uh, the inflation rate has dropped sharply. When we look at political candidates, that's one of the things I look at, is how is the, the future going to be because Carter was president. Most of us have children who are still in school, yeah, so do I. and we see our children coming of age in a time where decisions that you're going to be making are going to be very important, and we appreciate the concerns that you have for public education. I became convinced quite early that we needed a separate Department of Education. It was one of the toughest legislative battles we've ever fought. The NEA helped, and with their help, we now have a separate Department of Education. That's a major step in the right direction. It'll be better for public education and also better for private education as well. A president can do a lot about public education, but it's primarily the parents of this country that are gonna have to do the most. When I was a child, the PTA was, uh, was a, a, a vital, exciting sort of thing, and the students would come and, and, and put on a program of uh, ready writing or, or debate or extemporaneous speaking or one-act play. I mean, it was just one of those things that was the center of our life. That's not the case anymore. I think that this is one of the uh, issues that I might raise to try to encourage that revitalization of the interest of parents in the public schools. I would like to know more about you as a man. Why you wanted to be president and what you expect to do differently in the future. I decided to run for president in the midst of the uh, Vietnam War final days and in the midst of the Watergate uh, scandals. To me, it was an opportunity to see our nation healed. We had been through hard and divisive times. What we've hammered out in this first three and a half years is a good basis for future progress. The energy laws are now on the books. Four years ago, the oil companies dominated the Congress, and now we've changed that, and the consumers of oil have an equal voice, at least. It's been a long time since the president served in this office without having a war. And I would like to serve eight years in the White House and have our nation stay at peace, but at the same time enhance the quality of life of people in other nations and promote freedom and human rights and democratic principles. There's no way to prepare for being president. There's no training ground for it. It takes a while for a leader to become not only experienced but established. I think I'll be a better president in the next four years, just continuing what we've done. It impressed me that you would go to different families throughout the United States, and uh, that seems like such a nice human touch, and now here you are, and I... <laughs> I, I deal with uh, bureaucracy and, you know, with foreign affairs and defense matters and uh, political campaigns so much that just to sit down in the backyard with, uh, with nice people is really a delightful experience for me. Re-elect President Carter.